Thousands of people are in danger near Naples as the Campi Flegre volcano awakens. In Italy, a supervolcano outside Naples is erupting in a way it hasn't in centuries. And hundreds of thousands of people live right next to it. In Greek and Roman mythology, the Campi Flegre volcano was depicted as the entrance to the underworld. Its eruption thousands of years ago blocked out the sun, turning summer into winter. And now, the supervolcano outside Naples is erupting in a way it hasn't in centuries. NPR's Ruth Sherlock reports. From this hilltop, you can see a curved bay, the sea sparkling in the sun under a bright blue sky, and the island of Capri, a playground for the wealthy, in the distance. But this extraordinary beauty hides the dangers of this region. We all know we live in an area completely prone to earthquakes, said Madalena Desario, a resident of nearby Naples. Mount Vesuvius, whose lava once solidified the ancient Roman city of Pompeii, looms over Naples. Hans Christian Andersen, long an inspiration to artists and poets, described the lava as a huge shooting star during its 1834 eruption. But in reality, a much larger and potentially more dangerous seismic giant lurks beneath this land, Campi Flegre. Giovanni Macedonio, director of the National like Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology in Naples, describes the eruption of the massive Campi Flegre volcano some 39,000 years ago. Behind this supervolcano ejected 72 cubic miles of molten rock. Ago, the Global temperatures flood. plummeted, and all of Europe, even Russia, was covered in volcanic ash. Macedonio Basalt said scientists expect today's eruption to be less United massive, States but it could still be devastating. In fact, Campi Flegre is considered a national threat by the Italian government. Macedonio said the eruption could halt travel, air across Europe and even other parts of the world. And what makes this volcano even more dangerous is that hundreds of thousands of people currently live directly above it, in an eight-mile-wide crater. About half a million people are in the red zone, which local authorities say must be evacuated to survive an eruption. That's why Macedonio and his team monitor the volcano's every rumble and tremor. Macedonio showed me an observatory with screens on every wall. They monitor every volcano in the region, 
But recently, Campi Flegre has been causing concern. And while we were there, this happened. This alarm indicated an earthquake was underway. It was on Campi Flegre, and that nowadays is not unusual. Last year, there were 2,500 earthquakes in a month, and the problem is, they're getting stronger. This year has seen unprecedented earthquakes up to magnitude 4.6, enough to crack walls and force people to flee their homes. And while this is happening, the ground is swelling, slowly rising beneath people's feet. We'll see a concrete example of this in the port of the old town of Pozzuoli. Boats simply sit in the grass. They once floated on the water. Now they're stranded on land. It's strange because this is a scene we're used to seeing at dried up lakes. But this is a sea estuary. There's water, but the land has risen so high that it blocks the inflow of water from the sea. This giant volcano seems to breathe, its land rising and falling for decades with each breath. Before the last major eruption 15,000 years ago, the land surface rose about 25 meters. Now, the land surface continues to rise again, rising 1.2 meters since 2005, and the rate of swelling is accelerating. 